Hey folks, Alex Beefnaw here, and um, I first want to apologize for the complete lack of any kind of activity on either of the channels this past week. Um, stuff has been crazy, but uh, at the end of the day, TLDR, I am once again a fully licensed driver. How about that? Um, scary, right? I hide your kids, hide your wives, hide your husbands, and hide your precious, precious vehicles, because uh, I'm, I'm out there. <laughs> and uh, everything goes well, I should have a car early next week and life is going to be good again. Oh, but in order to uh, make things up to you for being completely out of the, uh, out, of, out of things this week, I'm going to do a taste test. We haven't done a taste test on the channel in a while. The last one we did was the Lay's Do Us a Flavor. And I've actually been wanting to do this one for a while. I just never got around to ordering the thing that I was going to test for you. But uh, I happened to um, go out to Metcore last night, or la not last night last week, last Friday, and I, um, they have a, a, a convenience store in the same shopping center, uh, Metcore by the way, is you go and it's the, the virtual reality pods where you get in and you play uh, Battletech and you blow up other people in giant robots, it's awesome. Anyway, they have a convenience store in the shopping center that number one is notorious for having uh, crazy flavored sodas, Metcore guys themselves have done taste tests of the bacon soda and no not baking the soda bacon soda as in pork soda uh they had ranch dressing soda they had some other flavor then they'll that they occasionally do taste test of uh they have a beer selection that puts some full-fledged liquor stores i've seen to shame and finally they had one flavor of the thing that i was wanting to taste test for you they had the barbecue flavored larvits <laughs> yes, larvets. Yes, that, that is what you think it is. The name comes from where you think it comes from. Notice here it says Original Worm Snacks, S-N-A-X. If you look at the uh, the ingredients, and I don't have my, my glasses out right now, but uh, ingredients, larva. It doesn't say what kind. It doesn't say what these evolve into <laughs> after they get the, uh, the, they turn into a metapod, I guess. No. But um, I, I took the liberty of looking them up on Wikipedia. Uh, mealworms are the larval form of the mealworm beetle, Tenebrio molitor, a species of darkling beetle. Like all hollow metabolic insects, they go through four life stages, egg larva, pupa, and adult, blah, 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 blah. Um, relationship with humans as food. Mealworms are edible for humans, baked or fried wheelworm. Wheel, wheel <laughs> Mealworms are marketed as a healthful snack food. Uh, they may be easily reared on fresh oat, wheat bran, or grain with sliced potato, carrots, or apples, a moisture source. Okay, and uh, if you want to see what a, a grown-ass, fully evolved mealworm looks like, um, oh god, uh, that might be too bright, but there, just look it up on Wikipedia, okay? It's, yeah. But anyway, um, Yes, yeah, so these are these are actually grown for human consumption. They are fed, you know, oatmeal and cereal and clean things. They're not. They don't go out in the woods and dig these things up out from under rocks and where they've been eating dead bodies and God only knows what else. Um, I know you're thinking, ooh bug, ooh bug. Look, um, if you can get past the ooh bug thing, uh, bugs are actually pretty good for you. They're high in protein. Um, nobody, nobody, you don't want this. This is a bug. <laughs> they're high in, pr I mean, they're, pr they're pretty much nothing but protein. And, you know, the, the least healthy thing in this bag is probably, is there any MSG in the seasoning? There might be. I, I can't tell. I can't read it. It doesn't say. I, I don't see MSG. Uh, caramel color, citric acid, blah, 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 hydrolyzed soy protein, etc., etc. So anyway, um... So yes, uh, long story short, if you go to the right store in Houston, and probably elsewhere, excuse me son, you can actually buy barbecue <laughs> flavored mealworms. Let, okay, let's get the tablet out of the way. Uh, buddy, you're going to have to get down. I love you. Okay, see you later. Okay, so yes, I am going to eat a barbecue flavored mealworm for you. I have the palate cleanser, if necessary. Um, if absolutely necessary. I have the super palate cleanser. Um, so let's just uh, open this up. Let's see. Um, oh, shit. 
um, do I have any scissors? No, nope. here we go. Okay. I do not want to spill these everywhere. I really don't. Okay. Okay, they smelled, I mean, like barbecue potato chips. So, um, let me just get one out here. They, I mean, if, if you, if you don't, if you squint, they look like chow mein noodles. So it's, it's, well, it's not too bad. And just, um, it was a little beady eyes there, so. I'm not going to do this. I'm, I'm not going to eat a mealworm. <laughs> I'm not going to eat a mealworm. I mean, look at them. They're so small. I, I mean, I hardly taste just one of them. Here, let me get a handful of them. Cat, please get on. Please, buddy. No, buddy. No, 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 no. Okay, down you go. Thank you. <laughs> I just need a handful of them. Oh. What do they taste like? They taste like, God, I can't place it. Pork skins. Pork rinds. They taste like pork rinds. They're, they're tinier, crispier pork rinds is what they taste like. They're delicious. I mean, they're really, there's there's nothing gushy in them. They've been, they've been dried, but I swear to God, they taste like pork rinds. They taste exactly like pork rinds. These are awesome. I love these. Mm. They're delicious. They're awesome. And they're full of protein. They have no fat in them. Uh, this whole bag is 10 calories. And bugs are superfood. So yeah, uh, if you get your hands on some barbecue flavored larvits, knock yourself out. They're delicious. They're awesome. Um, they also had crickets. Now I'm, I'm going to admit, I have tried the crickets uh, before. There's a, there's a story behind that, but I'm, I don't have time to get into that right now. Um, the crickets, they didn't taste bad. I had a problem uh, with the legs, though. Um, the, the legs were just, I couldn't deal with that. These have no, no legs to speak of. I mean, they've got nubs, I guess. Buddy, no, come on. Hey, buddy, you want a bug? You want to eat a bug? Here, eat a bug? Want a bug? He's sniffing it. You gonna eat a bug? No? He doesn't like people food. He likes to smell it though. I was gonna, well, I was gonna, you know, point out the, the leg nubs. But yeah, up towards the head, there's, you probably can't see it. There's some little, little nubby legs, but that's it. I'm, I'm sitting here just eating these things like popcorn. They're delicious. <laughs> you know, I figured I'd either love them or hate them. And uh, I'm glad to report that they are quite tasty. So, <laughs> thank you for joining me for this taste testing of uh, bug larva. Oops, you okay, buddy? Um, I am doing Extra Life this year. I did get a late start fundraising because driving stuff and personal stuff and other stuff. Um, I'm sorry about that. Of course, this means I am going to have to pull out a big gun for the actual uh, actual stream. Which means um, I'm thinking I will probably do as full a playthrough as possible of Earthbound. Yes, Earthbound. I, I have played it before, a long time ago, so it's been long enough that so it'll be fresh again. In the event that I finish Earthbound, uh, I will move on to Mother 3, and um, I will be operating under the same swear jar policy as last year. Now last year it took 18 hours and a freak accident death in Skyrim to get the first bleepable word out of me. So we'll, we'll see how Earthbound goes, but um, there's a link in the description of every video I do to beefnopolis.com slash charities. There's a link on that page. Go to Extra Life, donate. Uh, you will be knighted as a knight of Beefnopolis. You will get your statue in whatever um, mega build that I'm doing at the time, which is pro I'm probably going to be, I think I might still be in Natural Magic by then. Um, if not, if I don't get you in Natural Magic, I will get you into, um, what the uh, capital city as yet unnamed of Beefnopolis in uh, Hermitcraft Mod Sauce. So uh, that's it for tonight, folks. I'm going to finish these off. These are awesome. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.